God chose Abram and blessed him in Haran, promising to make him a blessing to all nations. Later, God promised Abram and Sarai they would have as many children as there was specks of dust in the desert. But after many years traveling through the land God showed them, Abram and Sarai still had no children. They were very old already, so Abram asked God if he was ever going to have children. God led Abram outside and told him to look up to heaven and count the stars, if he even could. He told Abram that this is how many children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren he would have. And even though Abram and Sarai were very, very old, Abram believed God. God reminded Abram of his promise to inherit the land he was living in. And Abram asked God how he would know that God would keep his promise. So God gave Abram a strange-sounding job. It sounds strange to us, but to Abram, it was a very normal way that people in his time would make very important deals. God told Abram to bring him some different animals and birds. Abram cut the animals in half and laid the animals and birds in two different piles. Then Abram waited for God to tell him to walk between the pieces of animals. When someone did this, they promised that if they didn't keep their end of the deal, they would have to pay the price and be cut into pieces just like this. That sounds pretty terrible, doesn't it? Well, the sun was setting and Abram fell asleep. A deep, scary darkness came over Abram, and then God spoke to him again. God told Abram that he would live a very long time and that his grandchildren would be wanderers and servants for many years before they would receive the promised land. When the sun had set and it was dark, God came down like a smoking fire pit and flaming torch. He came down and passed through those pieces right before Abram. Abram did nothing. God made the promise and God offered to pay the price of death. And that's exactly what God did for us many years later. When Jesus died on the cross, he paid the price for the sins of all people. People who didn't keep their promises to love God, but still received God's love and grace back. Just like Abram, we didn't have to do anything to receive God's promise, but believe in God and that his promises always come true.